No more struggling with marketing. Canva's AI tools are a game changer when it comes to real estate. I'm gonna share with you a few ways that you can create scroll stopping content all within Canva. Number one, Magic Design. Magic Design has gotten better and better. If you haven't seen Magic Design, this is a really cool feature right within Canva. You can just give Canva a prompt and say, can you create a Facebook post for my new listing for 123 Main Street? Here's some photos, here's a little bit of text. Can you create a Facebook post or an email blast or a blog post or a flyer? This is especially great if you're, you have the person who goes into Canva and you get a little overwhelmed by all the thousands of templates and options. Check out Magic Design. What I love about it is it gives you a bunch of different options. When you give it a simple prompt, you can look at those options that it gives you and then you can tweak it, add your logo, or change the colors, just change it up a little bit. That way you're not starting from scratch and you don't have to worry about picking the right template. Check out Magic Design. It's awesome. It's all through AI and I love it. Tip number two, AI powered imaging editing. One of the things I've been loving about Canva is being able to just edit your photos quickly and easily. You don't have to become a Photoshop expert. Sometimes it's nice to be able to increase or decrease the brightness. Or again, through AI, there's a couple little things that you can do. There's something called Magic Edit and Magic Erase. I often use this if I've got some sort of photo, maybe you've got a listing photo or a photo you wanna use for a graphic, and you're like, ah, that thing is in the background's distracting. I wanna remove that, I wanna delete that. Through the power of Magic Erase, you can upload the photo, click Magic Erase, and with a little paintbrush online, erase whatever you want for your photo, which is awesome. You can also remove the background. I often take pictures of myself that I use for thumbnails, for YouTube, for other social media content. You can use the background remover and through the power of AI, remove that background. Sometimes when you're removing the backgrounds, it doesn't get all the different things in the picture out. So you can remove the background and then also use Magic Erase to clean up the photo. So that's a little extra bonus hack that I love. All again, all through AI and all through Canva. Number three, Magic Write. Magic Write has been around for a bit of time now and it's a really cool tool. It's very similar to ChatGPT, but Magic Write is incorporated throughout Canva. If you are stumped for a catchy headline or the right verbiage, Magic Write can really help you take a couple bullet points, a couple thoughts that you wanna say and just make them sound better. The reality is most real estate professionals, many of you are really great at the job of real estate, but in terms of the verbiage and the marketing and the wording, it can just feel like that takes a whole lot of time. So using a tool like Magic Write and baked right into your designs, whatever you're working on with Canva, you can hit that Magic Write and just get that assistance when it comes to the right words that you can say. You can always use ChatGPT, but I love Magic Write because it's baked right into Canva's system. Tip number four, brand recognition. So there's I brand recognition that you can add in if you have a pro account with Canva. Now you don't necessarily need to have a pro account. And again, I'm not affiliated with Canva, by the way. There's a free version, there's a pro version. But one of the reasons I do recommend you have a pro version is you can set up your brand kit. And your brand kit allows you to add your colors, your logos, your fonts, all the basics that are important when you are personalizing your content. But one of the things that Canva rolled out probably about a year or two ago is really to put your brand voice in there. And so if you've never really thought about what your brand voice is, this is a really good opportunity to do that. And I've actually used ChatGPT for this. So here's a little bit of a side hack. If you have some stuff that you've created already, let's say you've got some real estate flyers, articles, postcards, social media graphics, you can take those, upload those to ChatGPT, even your bio here, maybe the bio on your website. And you could say something like, I'm going to upload a few documents of things I've written, a little bit about me, Based on what you read, can you give me a few sentences that, that you think represent my brand voice? You can do this in ChatGPT. They take some postcards or anything that you have written, upload it, and ask ChatGPT to evaluate and think about what your brand voice is. So now you've got that, and it's gonna come up with a few different sentences. Now you can go into Canva under brand voice and sort of copy, don't just blindly copy and paste, make sure it actually does uh, represent your voice and what you think your brand voice is. It might be friendly, compassionate, compelling, Snarky, whatever your brand voice is, it's gonna come across, right? And so putting that into Canvas AI, what's really helpful about that is then later on, when you are using Magic, right? Because you're stumped, because you put your brand voice in, it's going to help come up with some additional content ideas and marketing ideas based on your brand voice. It's also helpful if you have anyone else on your team inside your Canva, if you have an assistant or anyone helping with Canva, getting your brand voice spot on is key. Check that out. Number five, batch content creation with AI. This is a really cool feature. If you look within Canva under the feature, so when you're in Canva, there's a lot of different tools. One of those is apps and under apps, you can look for bulk create. With bulk create, you can bulk create a bunch of content all in one batch. We're seeing this, especially in our academy. A lot of folks are doing this with testimonials. 
If you're in real estate, you probably have testimonials all over the internet, right? Imagine grabbing your favorite, let's say 10, your top 10 favorite testimonials. You could put them into a spreadsheet, go into Canva, upload that spreadsheet, find a template that you like, and then through the Bulk Create app, it connects the dots and it takes that one template that you like and takes all those testimonials and now you've got 10 great testimonial graphics. It's really easy to do. Now you're not gonna post all 10 of those graphics over the next 10 days, but maybe once a week you wanna post a testimonial Tuesday or a testimonial Thursday, right? Now you've got those 10 graphics that you can quickly post without taking a whole lot of time. If you're doing any kind of bulk content creation, we have some folks in our academy who do like a Tip Tuesday or Wednesday Wisdom. They're able to put a lot of content together in a simple spreadsheet, upload it, pick a great template, customize it for their brand, and create a lot of content. We often talk about on this channel this idea of batching content, uh, and it's really easy to write within Canva. Okay, I would love to hear from you. Are you using Canva? First of all, what's your favorite thing to do within Canva? Do you have a certain hack? Is there a certain thing that you love using Canva for? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, hit the subscribe button and the bell button as we have new videos that come out all the time. If you are ready to take your AI to the next level, we have a brand new masterclass coming up where we are digging deep into ChatGPT and Canvas AI tools. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's all new. It's specifically for the real estate industry. We'll put the link below, get signed up, and we'll see you in class. All right, bye for now.